Mark Tilbury is one of the top finance YouTubers out there, not just because of his solid advice and clean editing, but also thanks to his eye-catching thumbnails. They help him attract millions of views and subscribers, and of course, they play a big role in his success on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create thumbnails in Mark Tilbury's style by recreating three of his best performing thumbnails on the channel. Make sure to stick around until the end because I'll also show you how to download the PSD files completely free. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. I've got this high quality image of Mark and as you can see, it looks really sharp. Let's drag and drop it into our thumbnail and resize it to fit the proportions properly. Next, I'm going to export it and head over to this Chinese website to remove the background. If you don't understand Chinese, you can just right click and translate the page to English like I did. The great thing about this site is that it's honestly the best tool I've found for background removal. I challenge anyone to find a better one. It even works better than Photoshop's built-in tool. After that, I'll darken the background a bit and reduce the saturation so the focus shifts more toward Mark. Once that's done, I'll add a nice camera raw filter to brighten things up and increase the contrast. Now we need to separate the money he's holding. Using the pen tool, I'll make a selection around his hand and the money. Then with the lasso tool, I'll divide each part of the bill, giving them different colors along with a white stroke and drop shadow. There are many ways to do this, but I personally prefer this method. It gives the result I'm looking for. The next step is to add these circles like this, each with a drop shadow to give them some depth. Then, I'll use this dotted line asset I found online and start duplicating it for each part of the money bill, also adding a bit of drop shadow to help them stand out. Once that's done, I'll add some percentages using a clean, professional looking font. This helps represent the concept of how you should divide your money. And since I wanted to get the percentages right, I had to bring out the calculator to make sure everything adds up accurately. Next, using a soft brush, I'll paint the left side of the thumbnail to add a bit of accent colour, like this. And finally, I'll apply a simple camera raw filter. I'll keep the final look clean and minimal, because Mark Tilbury's thumbnails don't rely heavily on flashy colours or complex designs. They work well because of the psychology behind them. At the end of the day, it's all about having a strong idea to create a powerful thumbnail. And that's it. Here's the final result. Personally, I really like how it turned out. I think it's a solid concept and definitely has the potential to attract a lot of views. Now, moving on to the second thumbnail. In this one, I'll try to recreate an existing thumbnail. Honestly, it's pretty simple and straightforward, so let's jump into it. First, I'll download a handwritten font from the Dayfont website like this. Then, I'll drag and drop my still image into the thumbnail and position it exactly where I want it. After that, I'll open Leonardo AI and run a quick upscale to enhance the details and make the image look sharper and more professional. Once we're done with the upscaling, I'll apply a camera raw filter and adjust the sliders until I get a look that feels clean, balanced and visually appealing. After that, I'll use the spot healing tool to remove any unnecessary facial blemishes to make his face look smooth and clean. Next, I'll start adding the text using the handwritten font we downloaded earlier. I'll write stop saving your money and resize it to fit nicely on the paper. I'll also add this line asset I found online to help guide the eye across the thumbnail. To give the word saving more impact, I'll change it to red, which adds a bit of urgency and focus. And to make it more visually interesting, I'll throw in a handwritten money icon like this. Finally, I'll separate him from the background using the select subject feature in Photoshop. I also remembered that I can add a white shape like this, clip mask it to the text, and adjust the opacity to create a nice reflection effect. To make it look even more realistic, I'll apply a slight Gaussian blur. Once that's done, I'll add some text using the Anton font, which has a strong vertical style that works really well for finance thumbnails. I'll also include the Amangadji text style. If you want a dedicated video on text styles, let me know in the comments. But for now, feel free to take a screenshot and save the exact settings I'm using. To add more depth to the thumbnail, I'll slightly blur the text. I'm not sure why, but this small touch adds a really nice sense of perspective to the design. I'll also add some drop shadow to Mark Tilbury to help him stand out and clean up any unwanted parts using the eraser tool. And as always, I'll finish it off with a clean camera raw filter to tie everything together. Here's the final result. Personally, I really like how this thumbnail turned out. This style works especially well in the finance niche and I definitely recommend giving it a try. By the way, if you're looking for custom YouTube thumbnails, check out my Fiverr page in the description below. I offer high quality thumbnails at a great price with fast delivery. I've worked with clients from all over the world and it's super easy to order. Your support helps me keep making these videos, so feel free to take a look. All right, here's the third thumbnail we're trying to recreate. As you can see, it looks clean and simple. It feels like a mix between an Ali Abdal thumbnail and Iman Gedji's style. I couldn't find a high quality image of Mark Tilbury, so I ended up generating one using AI. 
The first step will be to uncrop the image using the Pixel Cut website. After that, I'll run it through an upscaler. You can use any tool you prefer, but I personally like using Leonardo AI. Then in Photoshop, I'll remove any blemishes, cut him out from the background, and apply a camera raw filter to make him stand out and pop nicely from the background. Next, I'll start adding these rectangles, each with a drop shadow to help them stand out. Then, I'll use a website called Flaticon to download the icons for the thumbnail. This site is honestly used by almost every YouTuber and thumbnail designer out there, so if you're not using it yet, you're definitely missing out. Once I have the icons, I'll drag and drop them into the thumbnail, resize them and center them within each rectangle. To create a cleaner look, I'll add a gradient overlay that goes from black to a soft gray, just like in the original thumbnail. Now we're missing the charts. I'll add a red chart element, place it behind everything and start painting the red area like this. Then I'll change the blending mode to overlay and make the chart line stand out more by adding a drop shadow and some glow. I'll repeat the same process on the right side for the green chart area. After that, I'll add a drop shadow to Mark Tilbury to help separate him from the background and clean up any rough edges using the eraser tool. Finally, I'll finish it off with a camera raw filter to brighten the whole image since it looked a bit too dark before. And that's it. As you can see, Mark Tilbury's thumbnails are actually pretty simple to create. The process is usually the same, but what really makes the difference is having a strong concept. That's what sets his thumbnails apart from the rest. If you want to download the PSD files, just check the description below. You'll find all three files ready for you there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.